She thought it was an invitation to enter. I saw that the door was open. Big mistake. I want you to tell me how you got bit by his dog. The dogs came, and I'm standing right in the middle, right there in the path of them, and they started to attack me. You went to the hospital. What happened to you? I was in deep shock to see those dogs jumped on my mother-in-law and mauling at her. Judge Judy. What is your first name? Karen. And you're Miss Dawson? I'm Miss Dawson. This is your? Daughter-in-law. Mr. Moore, was it your taxes that the defendant was doing? In the beginning, yes. Was he also doing your taxes? Yes. How long have you been a tax preparer? I've been assisting people with taxes for well over 20 years. Is that what you do as a full-time job? No, I work for the federal government. In what capacity? I'm a health IT specialist. What particular training do you have in tax preparation? I had to start doing taxes at an early age. So you have none? You have no formal training in no tax... No formal training. In tax preparation? That's correct. You were referred to him? Yes, I was. By whom? Um, Wallace. He's a friend of mine. When did you see him and give him... March the 10th. And you? I saw him after. You saw him after, so you went at the same time? We did go at the same, same time. time. Okay, yes. so you saw March 10th and gave him the paperwork. How much did you charge each one to prepare their taxes? Well, I charged Mr. DeMar $200. $200? Yes, ma'am. And Miss Dawson? She didn't pay anything. I was going to do hers for free. Why? Because initially I was going to charge her $200. However, I wasn't able to complete the taxes when I, I had told Mr. Marr that the taxes will be com completed by April. But she kept persisting and calling and calling, so I, was, I had other people that I was assisting them with. So I was going to... Actually, the date that I first saw them was March the 15th, not the 10th. Mr. Jones, I assume that you're not handling anybody's taxes that are complicated since you have no training. I assume it's as simple as people who don't know how to fill out the forms themselves. You do it, and they're simplistic. There's nothing complicated about their tax return. So if you saw them on March 15th, one, you charged $200. Yes, ma'am. Correct? Yes, ma'am. And paid $200. And the other, you charged nothing because you didn't do their taxes. That's correct. You did Mr. Mars' taxes. I was doing them. I hadn't completed them. I told her on the 30th of March that I would have them complete the following day, which was March the 31st. Yes. And? And when... This is when the occurrence happened with, with the dogs. When, on what date? March the 31st. So you said you'd have them by March 31st and they came to your house. That's correct. That's what we're here for. And your dog... One of your dogs bit who? Bit me. Bit you. And you're suing for being bitten by the dog? You went to the hospital? Yes. Yes, ma'am. And what do you want? I want the hospital bills that was um, done for me. What happened to you? Shocked. I was in deep shock to see those dogs jumped on my mother-in-law and mauling at her. So the hospital admitted me as well. I want you to tell me how you got bit by his dog. Karen and I, or Mr. Marr and I, went to Mr. Jones's house because he had sent her a text that the taxes would be ready on the 30th. March, on the 31st. March 31st. So you went... So we were together. We were in the area. It was on a late Saturday evening. On the 31st? On the 31st. What time? I would say approximately 7. 7 p.m.? Yes. Okay. So you went to the house to pick up your taxes? Right. Well, what, when... What time was it? It was at least 5 o'clock in the afternoon. It was in the afternoon. So it was, in the it was afternoon. 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Yes, Taxes should have been ready. That's after business hours. So it was 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So you went there at 5 o'clock to pick up your taxes, which was supposed to be ready, and... We called. We saw that the door, the inner door... Not we saw. You. Oh. I saw that the inner door was open, so we sat in the car for a while. Mr. Marr called to see... Called... Called Ms. Mr. Jones to let them, let them know that we were outside, but there was no answer. I think it, the uh, voicemail picked up. So we sat Just there... Just a for... second. You were home? Yes, I was upstairs. Just a second. Yes. <laughs> so... So... so she, she didn't answer the phone. So you're no, sitting well, outside... No one answered, ..in your yes. car, and this is your wife? Yes, ma'am. Your wife didn't answer the phone. You weren't home? I was home. And you didn't answer the no, phone? No, I did not. <laughs> So it went directly to voicemail. It did. So after we didn't get a response from the voicemail, we decided, well, I said, well, the no, door... No, don't. Not we decided. I'm sorry. Just... I, I yeah. saw that the door was open. The, the inside, inside door. door was open. And I could see through the house. Whether you could see through the house or not. You were so there we getting said, your taxes, oh. and they were ignoring the phone call. No. No. That was don't... Not... don't... Okay. When I ask you something, then okay. you'll answer me. Okay. 